This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com and GatheringMagic.com, your place to explore the game. Hi, I'm Eric Morgan, and this is my Nickel Bolas EDH deck. So this is Nickel Bolas. He is a 7-7 flyer for 8, and when he connects, the defending player discards his or her hand. He's got an upkeep of a blue, black, and a red. And I don't really cast him that much. Um, he's a great commander, great creature. Um, he's got the right colors. The deck is built around his ability. But uh, the, he's kind of more of a spectator. Uh, when I, In the year or so that I've had this deck, I've cast him maybe two or three times. But when I do cast him, he ends the game quickly because, if nothing else, he is a three-turn clock. And uh, with the basic lands, we've got three of each. We've got three islands, three swamps, and three mountains. We've got dual lands, uh, blood crypt, watery grave, steam vents, and sunken hollow. Got the fetch lands with polluted delta and bloodstained mire. Got the Triland uh, Crumbling Necropolis, and got Reflecting Pool, Command Tower, got little Bounce Lands, is it Boiler Orcs, uh, Rakdos Carnarium, and Demir Aqueduct. And we got your Scry Lands, Temple of Epiphany, Temple of Deceit, and Temple of Malice. We got Urborg, turn everything into a swamp. We got your little Pain Lands. Uh, Sulphur Springs, Underground River, and Shivan Reef. We've got the Czech Lands, Dragon Skull Summit, Drowned Catacomb, Sulphur Falls, um, Cephalid Coliseum. Um, it kind of goes with the theme of the deck. You draw three, discard three. Um, Hallmar Depths. Kind of like a ponder for on the land. Reliquary Tower. You're going to have a large hand size in this in this deck and kind of don't want to discard every time. Uh, you got Temple of the False God. Um, this deck is based around Nickel Bullis's discard ability, so we got uh, Rick's Matty, which uh, each player discards a card. We got Desolate Lighthouse. Um, you, all, uh, you also need to draw a lot of cards, so this helps with that. And Krosis Catacomb is probably the worst land in this deck. I don't like it, but I can't find anything else to uh, put in its place. So if anybody has any ideas, uh, let me know. Uh, with the creatures, yeah, this deck can go a few ways. Um, you got your discard. You got uh, this deck. This deck likes to mill people, and. Uh, and Nemesis Reason is a really good creature for doing that. Um, Niv Mizzet, um, the Fire Mind, uh, this deck draws a lot of cards too. So with this out in the field, it kind of it, it it'll ping every ping someone every time you draw a card. Karanos is just a fun card. It's one of my favorite cards. Um, it, it is my favorite god, and uh, he bolt something or lets you draw an extra card which with any of the cards in here can deal damage uh Jen Gataxius, uh he draws you a bunch of cards and kind of screws over your opponents um this deck will put a target on your back um it, it's very fun to play uh but people will hate you out of the game for it it, it uh, targets everybody at the same targets all your opponents at the same time this deck was built for multiplayer and it is it is hell of fun to play but you have to be quick with it um magus of the jar um this this is a this card goes well with the deck uh, i run memory jar also so i just like that effect it's it works a lot uh, guilt feeder. You're going to be milling people, and uh, this card can potentially win the game with one attack. Grave Titan is just 
just an awesome card. Um, if nothing else, he's uh, six six with death touch, and he pumps out little little zombies every time he attacks or comes into play. Uh, Nakuzar, the Mind Razor, uh, gives you extra cards, and every time your opponent draw a card, deal damage. Um, Dragon Mage, it is uh, Wheel of Fortune on a stick. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it works with the draw and discard. There's a bunch of discard spells in this deck. Um, Blood Tyrant, he, he doesn't really fit the theme, but he's got the colors, and uh, he hits everybody and just gets huge. And I think he works well with multiplayer. Um, Notion Thief. Um, this fills up your hand quickly and can help mill yourself. There is a Laboratory Maniac in this deck, and if it comes to it, you you can mill yourself out really quickly with this deck, and Lab Maniac just lets you just lets you win. Um, Jace's Archivist. Um, this. Works well with uh, Notion Thief. Uh, you just have a big hand, discard it, and then draw that many cards four more times. And Lab Maniac, this is one of the win cons. Uh, mill yourself out and then draw from an empty deck and you win. Uh, Consuming Aberration, it helps with the mill engine. Uh, there, there's a lot of spells in this deck. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it's a good one. I've loved this card since it came out. I ran this in standard. Uh, Psychosis Crawler. That uh, works with the, all the card draw you have. Every a lot of things uh, draw you draw cards in this deck, and that that can get out of hand pretty quickly. Dust Mantle Guild Mage. Um, Pretty much only be using his first ability, which says uh, whenever a card goes into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, that player loses one life. Um, that that's part of an infinite combo with Mind Crank in this deck, and that this this deck does a lot of combos also. Um, that that is the main one, which is uh, this and Mind Crank. Now we got the instances. Um, Colgan's Command, it helps get an extra point of damage, get them to discard a card, and it targets, uh, destroys an artifact, and if you have, like, if you have the Guild Mage in your yard, you can use it to get it back. Mystical Tutor, this goes, finds any of the instants or sorceries we have, puts them on top of the library, there's a lot of them, and just depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, wheel and deal. Each, each, any a number of opponents discard their hands to draw seven cards. So, I mean, yeah, you're giving them a fresh hand, but with all the discard hate that's in this deck and draw hate, um, that that can deal mess load of damage to them. Cyclonic rift. It's always fun to cast this, overload this, and then um, cast like a wheel of fortune. People don't like that, but I, I find it fun. Words of Wisdom, it's just another little draw spell. Uh, I thought it was thought it was flavorful, so I threw it in here. Uh, you draw two cards, and each other player draws a card. I try to build this deck with as many each other player does something, or each opponent does something, anything like that. That way I can hit all my opponents at one time. Uh, Frantic Search, this one really only... It, it draws you a couple cards. Um, it really only does... Well, with the untap, if you got the uh, the bounce lands, the little dual, the multi land bounce lands, and uh, yeah, he he can net you some mana, but other than that, he's just a little draw spell. Talarian wins yeah, if you got a if if you're trying to mill yourself, this will help. Uh, yeah, I like that card. Um, is it charm? This kind of starts the uh, counter spells. This one counters a non, uh, a non, uh, a non-creature spell, unless they play two, and it also loots you. Um, looting's 
always good in this deck. Just draw. Th this one, muddle the mixture. It's a tutor. It can find uh, mind crank or it can counter an instant or sorcery spell. It can find a lot of things. Like you get your mind crank, demonic tutor, anything that costs two. Um, suffocating blast. This is just counter spell that I like. It counters and bolts a creature. You got perplex. It also tutors for anything that costs three, or they could counter, or it counters a spell, or, or your opponent discards their hand. Um, either way, it's a win-win-win card. Uh, undermine, just counter spell in the colors. They uh, the opponent loses three life. Counter flux is just uncounterable counter spell. Induce Paranoia, this is one I kind of hold back for the big fatties that they like to drop that cost a lot. Uh, it helps mill them out, because uh, if you pay black, they mill X, where X is that spell's converted to mana cost. And then you just got your basic counter spell. Um, the Prive's pretty much the same as counter spell, except you have to return a land to your hand. And we got the Sorceries, we got uh, Demonic Tutor, and search for anything in the deck. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, one of my favorite cards in this deck. Uh, each player discards their hands and draws seven cards. It works very well in this deck. Uh, Reforge the Soul uh, does the exact same thing as Wheel of Fortune, except it cost, it'll cost. it either cost uh, two more or one less, depending on when you draw it. Um, Incendiary Command, this is Pseudo Board Wipe. Um, uh, have everybody discard their hand and draw that many cards. It th This is a good one to play after Cyclonic Rift if you can afford it. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Whispering Madness does pretty much the same thing as the uh, discard draw ability on Incendiary Command. It's got Cypher. Uh, I don't really use it. I just cast it. Um, it helps... You mill, mill yourself out, mill your opponents out. Um, you will have a large hand. So uh, each opponent will have to draw that many cards. And with all the cards in here, they that could kill them. Dark deal. Uh, just, uh, like, you see the theme going. Everybody discards their hand, draws cards. Mind grind, it hits everybody. Um, this is a good card to play. It only costs three mana, and it hits everybody when you've got the... Uh, Guild Mage Mind Crank combo out. Uh, Windfall also uh, hits everybody, and it also works with the combo. Urza's Guild, I just thought it was uh, a cool looking card, and it uh, fits the theme a little bit. And it, it's just, it, I think it's good. Now we got some uh, board wipes with Anger of the Gods. It's just always good. Uh, Languish. This is supposed to be Damnation, but I don't have one at the moment. So, Languish fills fills the spot pretty well. Um, I need to get that Damnation. Um, Toxic Deluge. Uh, this this is probably the best board wipe in the deck at the moment. Because um, you don't really care... You don't care too much about your life in this deck. Um, just... Just uh, your deck size. Uh, Blasphemous Act. It's always a good, good board wipe. Um, doesn't really hit indestructible creatures, but it, it gets the job done most of the time. And then Mizium Mortars. Just a weaker Blasphemous Act. Um, now we got the Planeswalkers. We got Jace, uh, Memory Adept. He he mills and draws cards and draws cards and mills and hits everybody with his ultimate of drawing 20 cards. Now, we can't have a Nickel Bolas Commander deck without Nickel Bolas Planeswalker in it. Um, I, I wish his ultimate hit everybody instead of just one person, but, you know, you can't... I, I think that'd make him way too overpowered. Um, but you can get it multiple times fairly quickly because his destroyed non-target uh, his destroyed target non-creature permanent is plus three, and it's really quick to get to nine. Um, Dak Faden, he makes target player draw two, then discard two, and that 
that is the main one we'll be using in this deck. Uh, you don't really have a lot of target permanent spells, so you don't use his emblem at all. And uh, gain control of target artifact, yeah, that, that might come in handy every once in a while, but the main thing I use him for is his looting ability. Ashiok, this kind of helps with the mill. I just had an extra, had this card and had an extra slot and thought she'd fit. Um, this this gets you some extra creatures and kind of helps with the mill. Mills your opponent three at a time. Um, yeah, we got the enchantments. the 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 main kill spells in this deck are the enchantments. Uh, that's why we had so many counter spells. So we have to protect these guys. We got Underworld Dreams, which every time they draw, they take a life. Uh, McGrim, every time they discard, they take two life. Blood Chief Ascension, it's another one that goes with uh, Mind Crank. If it's got three counters on it, whenever a card goes into their graveyard from anywhere, they lose two life. And, uh, yeah, set that one off to the side. Uh, Liliana's Caress, uh, whenever they discard a card, they lose two life. This is a, one of the newer cards that I've added to the deck as it's been evolving. Uh, Sphinx's Tutelage. Whenever I draw a card, target opponent uh, mills two and repeats the process till they uh, hit a land or two cards that don't share a color. Uh, with all the card draw in this deck, I thought it was a no-brainer to put that in there. Waste Knot. When, when I first started building the deck, uh, well, a after a little bit of having the deck, I wanted to put this card in it. The, the, this card was one of my favorites, and I wanted it to be in the deck. I wanted to have the commander be about this, and that's what what we have here. Um, he uh, goes around the discard theme, and uh, he, pump, he pumps out zombies when they discard a creature card. He gives you mana when they discard land, and he draws you cards when they discard a non-creature, non-land card. Now we've got the artifacts. we got Soul Ring, which is your just basic Mana Rock is the only Mana Rock in the deck. Um, Library of Lang. Uh, you have, pretty much you have no maximum hand size. I, I got this particular version because it says skip your discard phase, which I like. Um, and whenever you do discard a card, you can put it on top of your library. So with all the Wheel of Fortunes, if you've got something that you don't want to get rid of, just put it back on top. Um, Memory Jar. Each player exiles their hand and draws uh, seven cards then at the end of the turn they discard those cards and return the exiled cards to their hand um, this is another card that works well with uh, cyclonic rift uh, you just rift them and then have them discard everything that they had on the field uh, Geth's Grimoire uh, Whenever an opponent discards a card, you may draw a card. This helps mill you, but you don't have to draw a card every time uh, they discard. But with all the discard, and yeah, you, you can this this one gets out of hand quickly. They need to take care of this, or else you're going to end up drawing your whole deck. And then Mind Crank uh, is the last card in the deck, and it says whenever opponent loses life, that player puts that many cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And with Blood Chief Ascension, Blood Chief Ascension, that is an infinite combo that mills everybody at the same time. So, uh, what what it does is they'll lose two life if, like, say they cast a spell and it goes to the graveyard. They'll lose two life and they have to mill two. Two cards went into their graveyard, so they will lose four life and then mill four. Um, most of the time, they will die due to damage before they mill themselves out, but it, it, it's just fun. Um, it, it goes infinite, and there's a lot of ways to get the combo out, especially since I've got two enablers uh, with the uh, Dismantle Guild Mage. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, this deck will get you hated out of a game. It, it's happened to me many times. Thank you for watching CMDR Decks. Please favorite and subscribe.